Hi guys, Patho Gaming here, and now we're going to break down the game with Daniel. Welcome back. Daniel, you there? Yeah, yeah, we're good. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if, if I was allowed to speak already. <laughs> <laughs> if I welcome you, I, I was, I was making it, such an I, effort not to say anything, it. dude. <laughs> All right, let's watch the game. Oh, okay, so right, game. right off the bat. Um, so you were saying, okay. Even okay, so not, like the best thing about watching bots is I remember mistakes that I I told you to to make even though they're they're like they're mistakes. Uh, so yeah. what is what is the best play you can make right now? The best like, play I can make right now is get probably Garan Nidalee on board. No. No. Really. Nope. Okay, yeah, because we don't know if we got get, getting gold from this turn or not, right? Uh -huh. So we surely, surely gonna buy Diana. No. No. Oh no, but we we gonna oh we gonna bench the Diana with the sword. This no. Is what we are doing? No. The best really? play you can do right now is put Diana. I have to buy. Okay, I have to buy the Garen. There's no, no way I'm not buying no. the Garen. No, 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 no. You put no. the Diana. <laughs> you put the Diana. Um, yeah. so she jumps and attacks the range creep. Yes. That's it. She can solo this. Oh, really? Can But I, uh, you said it last night in the tournament and then you lost this round. Shut up. I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust you on this. No, Di Diana, Diana's never failed because she, she has a shield. And yeah, also she no, kills. Your, it was your Garen. She kills DPS. She kills DPS. She kills the DPS, right? So she kills the, okay. the ranged one. If she if she jumps and kills okay. the ranged one that does damage, then it's easy to kill the other two. Okay, say I believe you. Let, let's assume I believe you. I put her on the leftmost part of the map then. Doesn't right? have to be leftmost, but like somewhere around like the Somewhere there. The the left. Like so that she aggroes and kills this first. Okay, but why is it so important to not buy anything at this point? Because if like, you get what is eight, the decision that you wanna delay? If you get eight gold you can make interest. Oh, but do I really want to? That is, yes. Come on, you're a yes. mathematician. What does one interest on one three give you for like the future? Like what is the value of that? Of one gold, one extra gold? Well, that depends on how you calculate, but can be a lot, but that's so weird for me because I would always want like to pick pick the Garen because he's strong and the Dianist, so I have two of something. Because if I just have 10 golds, then I have no, no units, I guess. But the okay, like okay the, I believe you. I believe like you. the I value interest. of one gold. We can do the math later. But the value of one gold here, of one gold interest, means that you can buy an extra unit next turn, and you can stay on ten. Okay, I believe you. And it's you. like, and then okay, so I, uh, and then you hit so twenty, there... and like the faster you hit twenty, like you get even more gold. It's like, it's an extreme turbo boost of gold. So if you if you can solo with Diana, Garen, I don't know why my Garen failed, but I still won the game, man. I started off ninety eight. That was <laughs> no, I know how does that even happen. <laughs> but that was like, <laughs> come was on, man. Game. I had to let the other guys have a chance, you know. I, I started off but, the game but, with ninety eight HP, but yeah. <laughs> but do, do you do you realize that that like five rounds later you were still talking to chat about this about how if you put Garen on left this can't happen. I remember. So I know this took you because like 10 minutes to I've never, that. I've never actually seen Garen fail because I did it like three games before that and it worked. And I was just like, how did it not work this time? Yeah. Uh, Rito just trolling you. Okay, fine. Okay, moving on. So, okay, so I, I, the reason why I don't buy anything here is that maybe I can make interest. Yeah. And then I want. And to. the okay. the expected value of that is the highest. Is big. Okay. Like that's like the okay. highest expected value you can make if you can like, right. if you can get tangled, and then the second best play. The second best play. The play I wanted is, you to make. The play wanted me to make is to probably put the warlord on the. F no, no. I second. I need to buy a Diana. No. Put the. No. You never buy this Diana. Why? <laughs> because you, don't like Diana. Okay. you want to play the warlords, correct? Yeah, I want to play the warlords. So then you buy the two warlords, and you bench this Diana. Yes. 
And if I get gold, I buy the other Diana. Yes. If you don't get gold, it doesn't matter because Warlords, like Diana is such a bad unit. Like, first of all, if you get chosen Diana, you want to put you you want to put items on her. Like right. When did you when would you want this Diana with a sword? Like when is that good? Like uh, there's like, like almost I get no... Moonlight Moonlight chosen Lissandra, then I will be happy. Get the Gunblade Diana with her. Is that bad? Uh, I don't know. Yes. Okay. Fine. You gave me a, you gave me a reasonable argument, but the the stacks on the warlords it's it's like like the odds of the odds of getting one more warlord are like much much much, much higher, higher than, than getting, getting exactly Mo okay. exactly moonlight resandra so if you get moonlight resandra yes you want diana with gunblade that's fine agreed agreed but otherwise you always want to play your warlords because they gain stacks during creep rounds okay yeah yep so then you have to sell the diana which I don't, which I force you to do, good. Because you're gaining Warlord stacks. Yeah, and I could have waited with selling her to see if I got gold. I didn't have to sell that early. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and here I just don't take this dualist. I've done, I actually have taken it in the past. If it was 2 2, I would take it, would you? Uh. Why would you take it on two two? I would. I rather take because it... like I'm panicking, no chosen at that. Point. I would rather take it now than two two, honestly. Really? Well, Why? now, now I can put in three duelists with, uh, like the I would have chosen Fiora, but like, I I don't like duelists personally, but I think they ha they could be powerful. They're not they're not terrible. So okay, what is the play here? I guess you were too slow for it, but what is the play here? Play here is. Um, sell Vagar by no play here is to buy all the wait a sec, you keep the team all get Lissandra Nami and then maybe sell Diana for a failure. I don't know. Okay, do you want to make 10 gold here? Uh, can I make 10 gold here? Five, of course, six, seven, eight. Oh, I can I can totally make ten gold here. I can I probably should make ten gold here, right? No. No. Because you like. Why? Oh, because because I have the Fiora who could eventually become dualist. Nobody cares about Fiora. Zao. Nobody cares about Fiora. You don't want to sell the Timo because he's OP. I don't know. Yeah, I don't want to sell the Timo because I have sharpshooters. Uh... Like, what am I putting in at four? Right? What am I putting in at four? Yeah, so, team, okay. which actually we did in the game. So but, there's there's yeah. two options. You get to 10, but you're going to bleed. You're probably going to bleed. That's one option, and that's fine. And that's like, um, there's no, like, it's not the wrong play. So I don't want to, like, you can either get to 10, and you start losing rounds intentionally to get a lot of economy. And that is one way to approach the game. Okay? Option A. Okay, so option so option A is that we get to ten, and the other option is that we don't get to ten. If we don't get to ten, I mean, I would have never sold that Vagar if I know, know what happens next turn. But we could probably. What is the safest unit to sell here? Safest unit to sell here, Diana probably. Yes, you sell the Diana and you level and you pre-level. You, I oh, guess because you... if I pre-level, then at the start of the next round, I'm already rolling. So if I if I buy four XP here, then the two XP I get happens get... before the shop. Rebels, exactly. Right? Which means okay. you can get a two cost chosen, and you can get a three cost unit. <laughs> you know that I actually just learned this in this game. Great. I thought you know... it happened. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I thought it happens the other way around. So I uh... thought I need to be on six XP. Before you know what I thought, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. the first thing is you level up because you get you, like you get the XP. Yeah. I don't know the like first how you get it the works. two XP. Yeah, yeah, okay. But like uh, so first, it gives you XP and gold maybe or whatever, and then it then it gives you a, a new shop. I mean, okay, obviously so it's, it's instant, but it's like some sort of order of operations. So, okay, but this is actually very important to know. Okay, yeah. so that's good because that that would have been the play. Just sell for one gold, level up. Good. Most of they the didn't do most that. of the time, if you watch my games, because I mean, I just copy it from better players. They level up uh, on one four, like pre level. 
Okay. And actually, uh, shout out to Dylan, a coaching student of mine, when I was already in like Grandmaster and he was in Diamond, he's like, I started doing this. I'm like, what the hell are you doing? And then I realized that it's actually a really, really powerful play. Because yeah, what, if, what if you hit a Kindred right now? Like Kindred is the most broken three cost. What if you hit a Kindred right now? Like she would just carry stage two for you. Right? So. Yeah. Okay, so that Sojin that we have here, you never actually combine it, I guess, because it's sort of niche, the item. Shojin is only good on, on Jinx and Teemo. Yes. But would you have made that item here? Probably not, right? Ever. I am very hesitant with making Shojin because I feel it's like one of the shittier, shittier tier items. So would, would you have slammed those pieces independently on someone? Um, no, but we can, we can, we're, we're going to continue watching it and you will see. Okay, okay, okay. Will... Oh, sorry. Go ahead, um, go ahead, go ahead. Another option here is by the Nami, like Sel Fiora and Diana and by Nami. And actually now that I'm looking at it, which completely escaped me, is Shojin Vigar. Because after the first cast, it's the same thing. And that's like, uh -huh. after first cast... Shojin and blue buff are the same thing on Vigar. Because he has 45 mana, so so he needs three attacks to cast. And if he has blue buff, then he like gets to 20. 20 plus 30 is 50. So after he casts the first time with Shojin, he will, all, he will cast at the same speed as with blue buff. Uh-huh. So it's like, you want, you always want blue buff Vigar, but like, if you build Shojin on Vigar this early, you can kind of use Vigar carry. That's just, yeah, something to consider. <coughs> like, if you get a very early three cost, you, you should always, like, think about if you can build a comp around them for stage two. And Vigar is kind of, kind of niche, but, like, with these items, you could have possibly used Shojin on Vigar and used Vigar to carry you. With, with, the, with a Nami, maybe you two-star the Nami, and uh, you just need one more mage like an Annie, and you have double mages with CC and crazy damage. So that's like another route you can take. And like you need to do all of this in like the five seconds you have. So that's why you should like know all of the units, know all the possible combinations, know possible item combinations, and just like your brain should like click, okay, so I'm doing this. Because you, you cannot, like I've been talking for, I don't know, three minutes about this, like about the various options. And obviously you just need to like kind of know them or, or at least have a feel for it. Yeah. Yeah. So here, yeah. So <laughs> yeah, we can see you on the edge of the nervous breakdown. <laughs> um, so here. I should have made that fear up probably. Seriously. And I sold it. Uh, I wait, wait, no, yeah. but, but here, the other course of action, which we ignored because it's, it's statistically kind of weak would have been the three mage the three mage with like um with a uh, garen or something or probably even jarvan you see it now three mage yeah, and jarvan now. yeah that's another option so uh, okay <coughs> i think we misplayed here actually so like uh what do you think is the best play here uh, let me see. We have three. Best play is probably to. Okay, so we need to level up for no. sure. No. No. Seriously, you stay level three and eco because we don't have a chosen. Yes. And then just make ten gold and fuck it. Yes. But before that, what should you do? Uh, probably scout. Yeah. To you see scout if out the, the lobby, lobby in... and you see if. If you can, like, if you level up and put in another unit, if you can beat anyone. Or, like, if you can beat, okay, to make it statistically more relevant, if you can beat more than half. So, if you can beat four out of out of seven boards, then you can level up and put in, put in a unit. If you cannot beat four out of seven boards, even by leveling up, then it's, it's not worth it. Okay. If, if you have less than 50% odds to win the round anyway, you might as well have... Might as well eco more. So like right now, because I've been watching a lot of Bebe, shout out to Bebe, like he levels like a crazy person. 
and I, I and like uh, Aria says, she also like even leveled to five on two three, and it's like ex extreme leveling, and we never got back to that, um, but we shall. I will write it down and I will ask you again when when uh, we level, because that's a good question. So, uh, yeah. So here you can just like ditch. I don't know. Vigar and Diana shouldn't even be here and uh, Morgana that gets you to nine and then you can just like sell one of the fishes Did, did you just say Morgana? Uh, Lissandra, sorry Okay and, uh, <laughs> sorry, was... Okay, Lissandra And one okay, of the yeah. fishes So you get to you get to ten Because, okay, and why Yeah, this was, this was actually a bigger mistake This was actually a bigger mistake That's my fault, my bad But uh, if you're going to ten here can why? you still not why? get Fiora? It doesn't matter what you field. Uh, why? Um, okay, uh, four. Wait, four, five, six, seven, eight, eleven. Uh, no, you cannot buy the Fiora. Uh, you would actually want to sell this Fiora and buy the Thresh. No, but I mean, you sell this. In, oh, but you don't really don't want to sell any of the Warlords because that's like your you. You sell your bench and you keep Timo and you buy Thresh. Okay. Um, but I made a bigger mistake now that I'm looking at it. Why should you never level up and put in another unit here? Like never? In this situation. I'm honestly not sure. Honestly, in gold, you have a pretty good chance even with this to win a round. Um, that is the incorrect mentality. I mean, have... Incorrect mentality, which I don't want you want you to have once you hit like master, which will be probably like I don't know a week or two from now, right? Yeah. By the time I hit master, I won't have this mentality. But you 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 also have to play the other people. Okay, so you're very on. You're kind of weak, I guess. Not... You do what not have you? an item. Oh, I do not have an item. That's true. So I would like. I would, hopefully, like if I'm thinking about it, the correct play would always be get the 10 here because you do not have an item and you don't have a chosen. So it's like chosen means you're strong. Good item means you're strong. You have neither. You don't have a chosen and you don't have a good item. Like you don't have an item you can make. Yeah. Which, like which, which means you're super weak. Yes, so warlords are pretty good, time. but you're super weak. And in Master, you will lose, I think, to six out of seven boards. Yeah, that makes sense. Maybe seven out of seven. So, looking at this now, I realized it was a mistake because you could have made 10 gold. Which is, it's like the, safe, the safest play is to just get 10 gold. Because if you cannot guarantee winning, you can guarantee one, like you can guarantee one gold by winning or you guarantee one gold by interest. So, and right now, Right now, six or eight HP is definitely worth one gold. That's another thing you need to know. Like the yeah, the, yeah, the, va sure. that, that... the value of health early is not that high. Like if you're at a hundred, if, if you're at ninety, eighty, seventy, sixty, it's still whatever. Like if you're at sixty but you have fifty gold, that's sooner than anyone else. Great. Like stage three is when 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 it starts to get painful. But stage two, if you can, if you lost streak five lost streak on stage two, and then you level up to six on three two, and you actually roll and find a good chosen, you're you're kind of like you catch up to the lobby and then you get ahead of the lobby. Mm. But maybe that's yeah. too, too complex. But like, no, uh, it's not. Yeah. So it's like it makes sense. either you get rich by winning. It's like the better option. Get rich by winning and save HP, or you get rich by losing but you're getting interest. So there's these two options. I, I mean, winning is also gold per round. So. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like you win, you get gold, and you get HP. It's the better. It's the better option, obviously. Yes, I mean, obviously it's a better option. But uh, like consolidation prize, which is still pretty good, you can you can lose and you still make interest. So look what we do. We. Like, and now it's like, okay, why didn't we pre-level? It's like the dumbest shit ever. Like, okay, so you didn't pre-level, and you leveled up, and you're not playing a strong board anyway. Playing the Fiora, I don't know why. I would have had Duelist at least with a two-star Fiora. 
and I buy the Kench. I remember. Yeah, this I, part. I, I'm and like, I just, what? What is this? Kench yeah, do? I mean, I don't think very highly of Fiora, but this has to be a mistake. Um, I think it's kind of okay, but what you could have done is you could have actually used your sword. So if you bought the Fiora, and you could play her instead of uh, instead of Timo, and you can give her the sword. Why would you want to put a sword on Fiora? Uh, so she does more damage. <laughs> no, but seriously. Well, you like, would have you would because, have because I'm selling her anyway. You're so selling her anyway, not... and you have duelist. Yeah. And so I have duelist, right? Sword is good if you have a lot of attack speed. Sword is good. If okay. you have a lot of damage, bow is good. Right? Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. So, like, sure. if you have 50 damage and one attack speed. Yeah, I know, because additive and multiplicative. Yeah, I so, got like, you. Fi I 15 damage yeah. more, it's 15 damage per second if you have one attack speed. It's 15 damage per second. And if you, have, right. if you have 150 damage, but you have, like, uh, half attack speed, then, like, one bow actually gives you... Oh, crap, that's difficult. Yeah, so like 75 and like half of that, 15% of 75, uh, it gives you something. Man, that's that's tough. It's like 12 and a half, something like that, 15% of 75. What, 15%? Uh, it's 10.75, no? Uh, yeah, okay. Correct. Sorry, I wasn't paying that. I was looking at the board. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, this is... But you always buy the two-star Fiora there instead of instead of I don't know why you're holding Moonlight. That's never gonna happen. Which I kind of couldn't, I couldn't uh, get you to not hold Moonlight. So yeah. And like this is like this. Like, I I mean I think I didn't tell too much, but like this. This was a mistake. No, but I mean in general, like you spend thirty seconds with like doing nothing. Like these thirty seconds, you should be looking at everybody's board and figuring out how your units can can be best utilized like actually understand okay garen spins if there are units around garen he does more damage jin Zhao spins if you put them next to each other they like you want to split them up so that they both get surrounded and they both don't die like this they bo both don't die but i think you want to split them up so they can like grab aggro from different sides to make sure your sharps are protected because right now if anyone has an assassin or a shade your shops can die, right? And that's bad. That's your damage. If your damage is gone, you're screwed. So if you protect your, like you can put Jin Zhao or Garen in the back to protect your sharps and just have one of them in the front. Yeah? yeah. Am I making sense? Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, I, and that's if you if you don't scout. If you don't scout, then you just then you just uh, position like defensively against everything. So if you know that nobody has nobody has uh, assassins, like these guys don't have assassins, these guys don't have assassins. Um, yeah, I guess there aren't any assassins right now, so it's it's okay. No, oh, there there's, was there's like a three, Asu three Asuos, I think, in Lobby at this point. I remember that. And there was a Katarina, so there are assassins. Yeah, yeah. There was a Katarina. There was, there was a already Katarina. a Katarina. Some, yeah, some guy was playing Warlord. I remember. Okay. And you already a Katarina. So I need to speed this up. This is taking way too long. Yeah, we got the Elderwood Brawler. So now you keep the Elderwood and yeah, this is fine. I teach you about pre-leveling. I convince you that you should sell the Xinjiao and level. Uh, okay, and here about the items. So you're asking about the items, right? Yeah. Um... So what are you selling for sure? Uh, from my bench? I uh, know from um, from the field. Oh, from the field. Um, what are we playing now? Well, I mean, eventually we're gonna sell the two sharpies here, probably. Yeah, the two sharpies are the like the most useless units, right? Yeah. So who gets what? Uh, Mana on the Timo, I guess. Yeah. And then I can't put the sword on the Timo because I really don't want that to combine. So I get sword on the Nidalee. Yeah. Or, yeah, actually. So Timo fine. ultimate is 
very important. So Tyr is good. Sooner he casts, the better. And Nidalee is relatively, like, has a relatively fast attack speed, so the sword is... And she's a sharpshooter as well, so, like, the sword gives you 70, like, 15 damage plus, like, I think 45% more. So it's actually, like, yeah, 15 plus another 7 because of the sharpshooter, so it bounces. So you increase her damage by 15, and increasing her damage by 15 means you're effectively, like, bouncing the damage. So, like, that's why it's actually good on sharps, right? Because their attacks uh, ricochet. I think about it, I don't do it. <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah. But honestly, you're probably losing this anyway. Like, this guy's way yeah, too strong. This... He has a chosen pony, like, yeah. And I get you to pre-level here as well. Yeah, and here, yeah, 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 yeah. Here we do it. Yeah, it took a while because I didn't understand why you would want to do that, but now I do. Yeah. I get it. Probably, I'm not sure. I just didn't want the belt, so I took the spatula. I guess spatula is amazing. One. Spatula, I, amazing. I mean, okay. most of the time you can use it quite well, but in, in your situation, it, it didn't work out that well. Yeah, here this was a complete clusterfuck. So here the play was put in the okay, two so this, Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, you, so you can you can ask. Vanguard Brawler, you me. Yeah. Because the sharps yeah. are not that powerful, right? Yeah. Yeah, we had some communication breakdown at this point. <laughs> and I remember I remember this. I didn't understand what the hell you were. I didn't understand why you don't want me to level up the trash, but you probably wanted me to level I up. I did, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, yeah. I, I didn't think I need to say anything about that. Like, I thought that was completely obvious. Yeah, yeah at the still with the route, that's the funniest part. Yeah, it was just hilarious. Yeah, because I started like clicking on the trash and just started yelling at them like, Is, can it be possibly wrong? And I'm like, okay, I, I hear you out. Okay. <laughs> no, I mean, it goes to, goes to show how easy it is to read routes. So. Initially, I wasn't sure, but then like it took me a few seconds to process it. Yeah, and this is this is the lineup. Yeah, this is extremely this powerful. This is how we should have looked. We could have had it a turn earlier. Yeah, so and, this is like yeah. essentially like I don't really think there's much importance of going no, this. this is just going to win like ten rounds in a row. Then I convince you to level up because you're you're extremely rich. Oh, here's the question. You ask me why level up here. Oh. Uh... You asked me, like, you're the one who asked me this, so why do you think I wanted to level up here? Well, probably because you you are pretty sure we can have, like, a potentially long win streak against whatever lobby we had, so it's just best to play aggro. And mm. hit high cost units earlier. Hit high cost, like, high cost units earlier. But, like, there's one thing that a lot of lower elo players don't think about. Probably. I don't either, but you want me to. But wasn't it really just for being streaking? I thought it was for being streaking. The kind of, yeah. But um, how do you win the game or make sure you get top four? Uh, I don't know. Were you thinking that we go like Fortune at some point here? Because of, nah. No, no. No, you, you probably wasn't thinking, you weren't thinking that. Uh, no, but like, why did you level up and put another unit? Like, how do you win the game or get top four? That's like, it's connected. Well, by... How do I win the game? Like, probably if I keep being first place for until like 4-1, I'm going to be top four. Or at least in this uh, it usually goes that no, way. No, no, like, yes, but not the answer I'm looking for. Not the answer you're looking for. Like, how me. do you guarantee top four? What what is What is the easiest way to guarantee top four? Like... <laughs> it's probably not an easy question how to guarantee top four no like not guarantee but like increase your odds what has to happen for you to get top four decent chosen i guess but no no, no like I... um in the game what has to happen so that you are one of the top four i'm higher level than the other guys no I what sort of I, I don't know what sort of answer you're looking for like Okay. Um, uh, well, okay, let me think. Well, I, I, I understand where you're getting at. 
like, okay, what do we get out of leveling up here early? We probably, like, we already were stronger than the others, so now we are probably much stronger. And mm -hmm. Indeed, we cannot keep winning. I mean... But, like... We're what... gonna hit our units a bit earlier, which uh, does happen. Yes, that helps. But, like, another big thing... So, like, how, like, give me some answers, like, how do you get top four? If we're not think, talking about units, if we're talking about other players. Not die before them. It's very Yes, important. you want four players to die so that yes. you get top four. And how do you make sure, like, players die? Oh, do more damage to you them. You do more damage to them. Yeah, I don't think about that. It's and that's sure. how, like, even back in set three, like, once I was started, started pushing for Grandmaster and Challenger, and I played with master players, I'm like, okay, I'm going to win against most of these boards anyway, but if I put another unit, I do two more damage to them. Which means, if I do two more damage to everyone, they start panicking soon. They start dying soon. They start rolling soon. They can't econ as well. They get, like, they feel more pressured. It's like all of these things. And yeah, but it doesn't, does it really matter? Though? Because, it, like, if you think about it, in a, da in a round, in the metagame, roughly, just very approximately 80 damage is done on the four boards. And now you put in one more unit, now it's 82. And that's the it's total not, no, 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 that no, no, has... You're, no. No, okay. Um, why is it not one more unit? Oh, because none of my units will die, probably. Because... I'm like... A fucking strong. Because you get a okay. you get spirit synergy and you get a blind. Yeah, so actually nobody's going to die. So I'm instead of die. winning by two units, you can win by five. That's how big. Like it's not two extra damage you do; it's six extra damage you do. Sorry, maybe okay. I yeah, maybe I misspoke. Yeah. So instead of doing two more to everyone, you're more likely to do like six more to everyone. Yeah. So it's the difference between doing between doing uh like. Two, four, six. You do two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, or maybe just twelve. But like twelve is a lot better than six, and that guarantees you top four. Like that guarantees you that you get top four if you do more damage to your opponents. Then they're likely to die, because the the like the best easiest way to get top four is four if four opponents are dead. And here it's kind of it's kind of funny, but I I, I like it. You buy the Diana, like, instead of just putting it on Kenny, like, you, you buy an extra unit that you can sell. But that, does that matter? Well, I mean... Well, I, could, I could have just sold Kenny, but... Um, so, uh, tiny Why would thing? I sell Kenny, though? I'm not... I, oh, I could have made Sert you, I Let get you to sell him. I, you sell him anyway. But, like, uh, the, the thing is, you should have put the, 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 the GA on sooner, because... Why? Because if the unit is already dead, then the G is not going to save you. Because uh, you get more damage and more reduction. Yeah. The sword and the armor. Right. But I mean, it's, I actually it's... was frankly not sure where to put it. I'm, even now, I'm not. Yeah, probably the Yumi is the best. Yeah, Yumi is the like, best. Like, who's the carry of this? Of this comp? <laughs> I mean. Uh, I... It, it's Yumi. Yumi is the carry. It's Yumi? Is it really? Well, like the healing, and look at that, look at that. That's why yeah. you That's why you level up as well. Cause, yeah, because we got the ash. Because instead of 2%, it's 5%, which is like 150% increase. That's crazy. Yeah, and we're going to hit like two-star Nunu in zero time here. Not this round, but very soon. Because never lucky. Yeah, positioning nice. Because <laughs> like... I, I almost moved that pony. <laughs> but like, if you think about it, that's what I meant. Like, how is this posi positioning any good? Right? Yeah, but I was listening to what you said. I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. Use. It's actually like, okay, actually it slows me down a bit. It was of very course, good. But, of course, of course. Life coaching always slows you down. So like yeah. you, you would probably play better. Like you could have probably Not showed me. Not much, but a little bit. Your game and better then, if I hadn't, if I hadn't talked And I would have fucked up the late game as we discussed. Yeah. I would have never sold that Ash, which was the correct play later. Because you get attached to your board. That's, that's what happens in lower elo. People get attached to their board. Yeah, it's, but there is a reason for that because they takes it's it takes routine to to change the board as fast as you do. But yeah, yeah. But the changes aren't aren't the changes aren't that huge. It's just like yeah, you just have 
it's it's not the clicking that takes time it's the thinking the mental process yeah yeah if i know exactly what i'm doing there's plenty of 30 seconds is plenty of time to click through because you, you're, you're, you're not, not even age. scouting you're not doing like there's not much to do right like like i guess it's like a checklist because i know what i want to do so it's like i i can do it a lot faster because i already know what i want to do why am i not putting the fucking GA yeah that's that's what i'm kind of saying like ga 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 and yeah you can see me just shouting GA and then you finally put it on. <laughs> Your face, though. Because yeah. GA is 15 more damage as well. It was all plat. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. And we actually read. This is the amazing part. We are on a winning streak of like what here? Five, six? Yeah. And... So, okay, another thing you should remember always end with all your, your balance of gold should always end with a zero. Right. Until I, yeah. unless you have like over 50, like you can have 55, 58, it doesn't matter. But like yeah, sure. always end for zero, so always buy something. Like it doesn't matter what you buy, but you, you can like, but you, oh yeah, you said if you buy stuff, you get confused. So yeah. No, I do try to actually fill up my bench. It's yeah. just sometimes it's like, yeah. It's not just about filling up your bench. It's actually like, yeah, here it was like, I think it was armor, but I wasn't sure either. Yeah. I actually chose. I, I I seriously think that I just wanted the one more gold at this point because yeah. I didn't know which item. Because you're I kind of poor, right? So like one more gold is, is a big difference. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Armor would have been better, but you 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 specifically said that you hate frozen hearts, so that wouldn't have been a really good. Um. Sign actually, you know what would have been amazing? Okay, wait. We need to go back. Uh. Uh. Yeah. I don't. No. 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 We can't make. Oh. Yeah. We cannot make the. Sunfire cape because we don't have the armor. Yeah, so never mind. Yeah, no, no, it was armor or belt. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. So we could have made frozen heart maybe, but yeah. So here I wanted you to level up to find an Elderwood. That was the the whole premise of this. Yeah, I'm gonna click through a pony next row. Um, you could have bought the Janna as well because Janna's good. So just like yeah, I could have. you should just like think about good units and just buy them and then sell them later. Like right now, it's like you don't care about one cost, but Janna is good. Here it's like okay, you get Ari, which we I think we we use at some point. A like, little bit. Yes. You get Sejuani, you miss the pony. There's a Aatrox, which is actually kind of good as well. And uh, sharpshooter and the stuff, but it's like okay, I'm like stop because I want you to be at twenty gold. So twenty gold was more important. Do you understand the belt? <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at a video of you. <laughs> Do you understand the belt on Sejuani? Uh, yeah, because you want more aloes later, maybe. Or no. like probably a lot of other items. That... No, that's... No? Yes, but like... The I'll more... just make her tanky, I guess, as well. Uh, not, like she's already tanky. Is there a deeper reason? You, kind, mean... of, you kind of hit it to cast. Okay, how do units cast? How do units gain mana? Auto attack. Yes, that's ten mana. And um, items. No, uh, no, that's not getting mana. How is the belt getting her any mana? Just, bit, just so she stays alive longer. Is it what you are trying to say? Kind of, but how do units gain mana? You gave me one option, not the other one. Auto attack or... Or, like yeah, they... auto attack or... With time? No. 6% of damage taken. Oh, 6%? Fuck, yeah. I should know that. Oh, so she takes... Yeah, I see. I see. So okay. this way, she has 200 extra HP, so she can take more damage. And get so, more mana. Um, yeah. It's basically one auto attack. So if she cannot get one more auto attack, she won't cast. But if she takes 200 more damage, she can cast. Or like, um, what is 10 times uh, inverse of 6% to get, what is that, 200, like 1, man, I'm bad at this. The inverse of 6% is what, to get 100. You mean 1 over 1.06? Yeah. Essentially like 180, like 180 is equal to 10 if you divide it by 6, if you multiply by 6%. Right? Six times 170. 
right? What, are, what, what are you trying? I, I don't understand. Why, what are you trying to calculate uh, the auto attack equivalent? Ten mana, the, ten oh. mana of of six percent equals ten mana. When? <laughs> oh my god! Um, I'm trying to do. <laughs> what? You get six six percent of damage taken. Oh, six percent of damage taken becomes one. I see three hundred and thirty. No. What? No. For one hundred. What? 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 Six percent. One hundred sixty-six. One hundred sixty-six. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that nice. means we are both very good at math. Let's yeah. move on. That means uh... that means that after one hundred sixty-six damage taken, it's one less auto. So it it means she needs to attack one last time to cast her ultimate, oh, I what you wanted to. which okay. which makes it more guaranteed. That is the key thing. It's more guaranteed. Yeah, gotcha. Because if, if there's an Ash shooting at her or a Jin shooting at her or she's taking damage, she might not be attacking quick enough and she might die. But with the belt, she needs to attack one last time to make sure that she casts. Okay. <coughs> and she's a Vanguard, so the belt is very, like, it gives her a lot. Yeah, it's more effective yeah. HP. Yeah. Obviously, the, the best belt, belt user here would be who? Uh, the best belt user, mm -hmm. maybe, is yeah. it her? No, no, then, I guess. No, 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 no. No, 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 is not a good belt user. Um, from this composition, for if we're talking about effective HP. I mean, Vanguard's are who pony trash, maybe trash because he's squishy, but no. do I care about him no. costing that much? It's pony, because pony's Elderwood. Pony's Elderwood of Vanguard. So oh, he has... and I want to keep the other with the live as long as I want. But he's one star. Yeah, but I mean, effectively, if you give the belt to him, because he's a vanguard and because he's Elderwood, you get the highest value from the belt. Okay. That's like highest value for the belt would be would be uh, Pony, if we're talking about how much health you get. But the reason we went on Sejuani is because her ultimate is way more important. Oh, but if, okay. if you didn't have Sejuani, the effective... Like, this is like... You're a mathematician, and and I love like the little math of these things. Like, the belt get gives. Yeah, I see. I am a mathematician, but uh, you know, ten is six percent of what just stresses me out. <laughs> <laughs> but like the belt gives you two hundred HP if you have Elderwood. Like if you have Vanguard, that's uh, like multiplied by the armor you get. Like if you gain armor from Vanguard, the belt gives you more effective HP, and if you have Elderwood, it gives you even more effective HP. So yeah. <coughs> because with Elderwood, you, you have armor and magic resistances after a while. So um, if you have... I have to call back someone a bit, but yeah. Yeah. Um, so... I can, we can do like 10 more minutes. Like The important thing is sure, like, sure, sure. like the late game. I, I, if, if at any point you don't understand what we're doing, you can stop me. But like I think it makes a lot of sense here. Like we just... Okay. Yeah, no, so... You're getting confused, but look at like look at your HP and your gold. Yeah, give me one sec. I'm sorry. Yeah. So like we're, we're making we're making items now. Uh. Yeah, you yeah. Oh, Sorry, sorry, I yeah. bit you again. No problem. No problem. Uh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I remember this part. But the, the whole point is, we're on 4-1, you have 50 gold and 94 HP. Yeah, and you're still winning. Here for sure. So this, this is when you decide, okay, I can go 9. And even in my tournament, in the Giant Slayer tournament, by the way, with like very good players, like elite players, when I had chosen Pony... I knew that I can go knight, and I did, and I won the lobby quite dominantly because I knew how powerful Six Elderwood is in the mid game, and that I want to go for my for my uh, legendary soup comp. Uh huh. So that like the one comp you should always be aiming for, everybody should always be aiming for, is chosen legendaries with more legendaries, like chosen legendary with more legendaries. Like legendary comp is what you should always be aiming for. And here we, we get kind of sloppy. I'm not gonna lie. Like here, adding a adding a rod on ribbon would would have actually been kind of okay. 
but she just smurfs anyway. She's just like, she's like, okay, you, you don't want to give me a rod. I don't care. I'm just gonna kill everyone for you anyway. This is so nice. She kills three units with, with one one swipe of her sword. And now at this point, uh, yeah, it's kindred, and it's like, okay, you're just <coughs> increasing the power of your board. That's it. Simple. Still winning. Uh, oh yeah, now we did the trick where we fill up our bench. Remember that? Fill up your bench so that you can get an extra unit. This trick is going to work until Wednesday, guys. Uh, I mean, Wednesday the 10th? No, 9th of November? 9th of December? I have no idea. I think so. Right? Daniel, do you know when, 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 when Wednesday is? <laughs> uh, that's this sorry 10 people are writing to me it's yeah. on the 9th yes okay 9th okay so th like this trick will work until the 9th of december if you pick up a unit and the, then the play here was was obviously uh, obviously golf it was obviously golf yeah this it, is so stupid though i didn't expect it to work yeah. this way but yeah it it worked i i it, i played dota in dota it did not work in dota it would just sell a random unit from your board but in oh, dota another large screen, yeah Underlords, you know what the fun thing was? You could actually put... No, I'm not sure if Underlords, but Auto Chess, you could actually put units on your board. So the way it would work in, in Auto Chess is you would buy like 20 units. You just put everything on your board and then you would start selling off your board right before the round starts. Does that make sense? So yeah, instead, yeah. Of, instead of just like board and bench, you could actually put like 15 units on the board and just like use your bench and the board and roll like a crazy person. And that was some crazy shit that I saw people do. Uh, why are we making Hextech here? I? Yeah. Because uh, you just said we are going Legends. And it works on yeah. multiple Legends, I guess. But, like, I want you to understand, like, yeah. It's it's an okay item on Ari. And we put the armor. Because more yep, armor... Now you're already, already making every item with some sort of game carry or whatever in mind. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly, yes. Okay, what what are good legends for Hextech? Like uh, every legendary can use Hex like every legendary. Okay. Okay, uh, like every one of the good ones. Like uh, okay, so it's just like who does damage? Kane, Yone, Set, Ezreal. Right, those are the four. And, and Kane, Yone, Set, Ezreal, and then you have uh, Lilia, that is kind of like whatever. Azir who has a who has a stun. Kane, Yone, Set, as mm. Azillion doesn't need it, and then one more. I never get all the eight. Do you know the eight? eight? Did you say Set? Yes. Set is one of the good ones. Set, Yone, Kane, Ezreal can use it. And then there's filler legendaries like Lilia. Azillion is amazing. Azir. And... Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> yeah. Lee Sin. Lee Sin, obviously. He can use it as well, actually. Because his, his kick out... Gives him uh, HP heal. Oh, yeah. That Ari so, actually did damage. Yeah, you were like, why is the Ari here? Because Ari... I, and the spirit buff is actually... And this is the easy win. This is the easy win. You didn't believe this win was yeah. going to happen. I did not it's believe. Easy. But it's so good because it's like... It's right before the creep round. Yeah, and it killed 12 winning streak. Oh, my God. Yeah. And you were still uh, like... So how do I make... How do I make uh, Ash better? Like... Yeah, you're still kind of confused about Ash. But, like, do you understand now that, like, if you have 94 gold, you're level 8, like, uh, sorry, 94 HP, more than 50 gold, level 8, like, you never want to keep, ro like, um, you would want to play Ash if you were at, like, 50 HP or, like, 30 HP. Then you're like, okay, I need to, I need to roll on 8. But you're so far ahead that not going to 9 would just be a grief. Yes? Yep. Yep. So, like, the reason why we're buying Warwick and why we're buying this shit is just in case we get a two-star, we can put it in. That's the only reason to buy it right now. And then, yeah, then I'm trying to get you to make QSS, which you don't want to make for some reason. Because, oh, I know why I don't want to make, but yep. yeah. Because I was thinking Ash Carry, and if Ash Carry, then I want like uh, Elderwood's Patch or something. Yeah, or, or, or Elderwood's Patch. El no, uh, Elder you're not getting more items. This is your. This is it. 
you can oh, make, yeah, we are five on. Yeah. You can make Elderwood's Pat and Shroud, or you can make USS. Yeah. And Vanguard's Pat. Now thinking about it, you could have made the Vanguard's Pat a lot earlier. Yeah. But whatever. So, like, QSS would have... Maybe maybe you could have dodged an auto or two and maybe killed the Shin, but whatever. I had to convince you that it's the right play, which took me around. That's fine. Yeah, because, like, just before the game, we were talking about how, like, uh, building, like, a carry, like, Ash 2 defensively is not great. But, yeah, these are not for her, these items. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. And that's, that's the very important thing. Like, in the early game, you're building items for your mid game. In the mid game, you're building items for your late game. Right? So, like, in the early game, yeah. like, maybe you don't build perfect items for Teemo. Because you know you're not going to be playing Teemo. And, like, maybe now you're not building perfect items for Ash because you know you're not going to be playing Ash. So, you always, like, think about, okay, how can I use these items now? How is it, how will they be useful? But the bigger picture is, like, how can I use the, the, the items in, like, the next phase of the game? Because you don't want to make items that are just good in the early game but not in the late game, like uh, Sunfire Cape. Sunfire Cape is great stage 2, okay stage 3, and it kind of falls off stage 4. Who is Sunfire Cape very good against, and who should you always have it against, by the way? Against? Yeah. Uh... Good question. I don't know. It does AoE damage. It keeps the unit alive. Uh, the sort of like, I don't know, comps that all stick together, like this brawler, whatever shit comps that have all their units in the middle. Um, One specific unit that you need. Oh, one specific unit. There's one unit you need it against. Uh, probably someone with a, that will stun me but still take damage. No? I don't know. Like... It's Warwick. Because it reduces, it? it reduces healing. Oh, it reduces healing. Because Warwick like heals like a crazy per like Warwick once he if he has QSS and Divine he just heals so much. So if you can prevent some of that healing with a healing debuff, it's really good. That's like one of the ways to stop Warwick Sunfire Cape. That's yeah, here why I take the Ludens. I don't know if I, no, I you don't take Ludens. You're not taking Ludens. What did I take? Didn't I take a Ludens? But you're not taking Ludens. Oh, I'm taking the cane. You're oh, taking I the cane. That. Why did they leave the cane to me? I did. I have no idea. I was last picking. Yeah, you were last yeah. pick. Okay. By the way. Yeah, yeah. I, um, I even said in the game that it's impossible to get that cane now. The the like... hard key to put units in is W. You don't need to drag units in. It's W to put a unit in and put a unit out. It's E to sell. Learn the hard yeah, keys. Yeah. It will really Wait, help. Okay. Sorry, did you ask the... What? W will just put it wherever. No, no. W put I it, use E. W puts it in whatever. But like right now, uh, you don't have time to like grab the cane and drag it for a second and a half. You don't have that time. Like it should be level up. You should be, you should be level 9 by now. You wasted 3 seconds. You, you should have W'd him in, so that's like another 2 seconds. And now you're still not leveled up. I don't know what you're doing. Like you said, you can level quickly, then you leveled up. And then it's like, okay, that's good enough. Because I see like you wasted half the round anyway. So, yeah. So obviously, yeah, I, I, and I apologize for that. You already had Mystic in. And I said put it in over, over Ari. I know I did that. Because uh, you have, this way you have three Mystic and three Spirit. And you just lost the tank. So you got a lot weaker right now, but that's okay. <coughs> this round, uh, we just chill. We just improve our board. Yeah, here comes the massive. Yeah, this was the part where I lost what we are doing. Yeah. No, I, I wanted you to do it on after the carousel, but like that's just that just for you to know. Like the thing we do on the creep round, you should do on the after the carousel, just in that round, in those three seconds. Yeah. But I'm like, okay. You're gonna need extra time, so we'll give we're getting you extra time. Yeah, so I should have like 
I should have rolled down after Carousel. Well, I think saying. I told you, sell everything that's not two star, right? And except the Juani. Sell yeah. everything that's not two star except the Juani and roll. And I get you to do that finally afterwards, but like, yeah, and just roll. And just roll for a chosen legendary. So now we finally do it. This round, you sell everything except uh, everything that's not two star except the Juani. And the, and the chosen yeah, which is kind of a silly round to roll, but I guess you didn't want to waste more time. Um, okay, so it's a bad round to roll, but if I know that you're not going to do anything better anyway, like, yeah, right. you have too much gold and you would just waste the gold and die. That's yeah. why I'm like, okay, just roll down to like 30 because it's like, otherwise it's just, just bad. So I'm like, just roll, yeah. And at the same time, you should be picking up the orbs. That's kind of, kind of bad. Right, like the orbs are right there, but yeah, there's just. So you lost a bit of gold, but that doesn't matter. And now, yeah, now I'm yelling again. Roll, roll, like. You can yeah, because I could have rolled first and messed with the items. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Uh, exactly. And you're moving units right. instead of buying units. There you go. And I'm like screaming, Kane over Shan, Kane over Shan, Kane. Uh, or uh, sorry. Uh, okay, Kane, okay. Kane over all of the chance is was what you were screaming. I remember this. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was super. Yeah, this is the, why I was super confused because this was the point where I like in my mind I no longer had like like a plan. I didn't know what board I want to get in the. I knew that the only thing I knew that we want to get like as many legendaries. Yeah, as but possible. that that's the board. That is the board. As many legendaries as you can put together is the board. That's it. As many legendaries as you can put together is the board. Yeah, there is like four items completed sitting on the left. Maybe I should have put them somewhere. Okay, I finally put some yeah. of them on Yona. I hit more Azir. Uh, that was, yeah, and I, I will replace it with the other Azir. That will be hilarious. Yeah, yeah I'm know. like, what? I know. <laughs> what is, like, you have I could have three mystics? But look at you, he's so cute. <laughs> How could you? You fired all my favorite units. You fired my Ash. You fired my Yumi. I don't know. You're just breaking my heart at this point. And you, you're not banning the Shen, but like the Shen should have been there as well. Uh, and here, was I not playing Shen? I, I mean, it no. took me the whole round to convince you to get him. Yeah. And yeah. then you're like, I'm never, I'm never three starting the Azir. Like, you could have sold Azir and Cassio, but it's like, why not? Why not try? And then this board doesn't look so bad, right? Oh, I know. I know what I do. Yeah, because... Yeah, I can't convince you to put in the other zero, so like, at least put in the Jarvan over the Yumi. Yeah. <laughs> you're like... <laughs> <laughs> you make some sort of... I'm like, okay, he's not putting in the other two stars. At least put in the Jarvan for four keeper if you're not putting in... Oh, here comes the psychology. Yeah, because you're like, okay, I don't like Azir, but maybe I like Jarvan. <laughs> Uh, no, it's like, no, I'm like, he's probably not putting in two Jarvans because he doesn't want, to, doesn't want to play two of the same unit. So, yeah. Yeah, but I could have played two of the same unit. Yeah, it's really good because it's two stars. Yeah, it's better better than the Keeper 4. And then I'm like, sell Azir and Cassio. Uh, Azir oh, and yeah, Cassio. and I'm like, the game is over. Yeah, this is, I actually thought, how, how did he not die? How many HP he had before this round, just before this round? Not, I don't know because you don't have it open. He has... 23, no? Four, 23. How did I not do 23 damage? Well, how, okay, how is player damage calculated? So up to five units you get alive, you get two per unit. Yeah. Then after that you get one per unit. Then you get an other something based on the round, which in round six, isn't it 15? Or it becomes 15 it's in round eight. seven? Is it's it 13? Eight. It's eight. Eight? The base is eight? For round six, yes, they lowered it from 10. Because they increase oh, stage, right. they increase stage three and four. So they lowered stage six. Okay, so oh, so I would need like what eight units alive then, probably something like that. Well, twenty three yeah. minus eight is. Yeah. Uh, oh no, because of the, the the new system, I would need oh I would. Twenty three minus eight is what it's. Fifteen. I would need ten units alive, which I won't have because I have nine units total. So exactly. Oh. Yeah. So even though oh, you win by nine units, you can't kill them. Uh, I thought I'm gonna do 23 damage. Yeah. Honest. So I'm I not... think you win with nine units. Actually, I think he might. 
Do you win with nine units? Maybe not. No. Oh, you do. No, because like no, because nine units is four. One, damage, two, no? three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You win with nine oh, units. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I win with nine units, but it's not enough damage. <laughs> so you he couldn't kill a single unit, and you got all the damage you could do. You could not have killed him. So I was right. No. You could have not killed him. I could and, have not killed him. And that's like I wasn't doing math, but I just knew that he's not dying from from that. And here you get confused. Because you don't know what what is the yeah, best. Because, because 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 you were like there is one one item that's good for you, and then I keep thinking about that. I wonder which one, and then I never take an item. But it's like you need to know this. Like what item you can can you actually use from this shit? What is the only yeah. item? There's there's two there's two items you can use. Okay, so so the TR is the answer. I already know that. But why is it TR? Uh. Because it will go on probably one of the legendaries. Yeah, like but five. like, why is TR good? What does it do? It keeps stacking to 25. 50% you... more damage, right? That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, and fights are already long. So, yeah. It will have time to it's, stack. It's more damage, and then it gives you more armor, and then more armor and resistance once it hits a full stack. And the second item, which is maybe better than TR, but like, at your level, it's irrelevant. Maybe better than TR, but my level it's irrelevant. Well, sword or actually, you... divine. If no. I can get divine in my no, account, no, 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 that's useless. Is it? Um, for you if right now, yes. For you right in... now. Okay. Oh, maybe the Zephyr. If I yeah. can position. Zephyr, so... Zephyr is the best item by far. I mean, if you learn how to play Zephyr, you will just climb like, I don't know, from gold two to diamond essentially, because nobody repositions. So. Okay. Yeah. So I, I see. So. Yeah, and here we keep arguing and running around until I get the duelists, which is very nice. It makes no difference. <laughs> and makes then, no difference because that guy's. And then uh, it's an easy win. Easy win. Yeah. So I mean, I hope this this also helped you figure out kind of like yeah, sure. why we're great. why Thank we're doing what we were doing, and I Which hope it's exhausting but great. And I hope it helped you guys to understand kind of how to play the game uh, in I a better way. How bad gold is and yeah how, how easy it should be to climb so hope you guys enjoyed it take care